Beowulf fit for in modern English? To him answered the leader of the band, the chieftain of the troop unlocked his store of words. We are people of the Yertish nation and half companions of Hilach. My father was renowned among peoples, a noble leader in battle named Edgdale. He tarried many winters before he, an old man, passed away from the dwellings of men. Each of the wise men far and wide throughout the earth recalls him readily. We have come to seek thy lord, the son of Hjelfdena, the protector of the people, with honorable intent. Give us good counsel. We have a great errand to the famous ruler of the Danes, nor shall aught of it be kept secret, as I think. Thou knowest, if it is so, as truly we heard it said, that among the shieldings some foeman, some secret ravager, shows in terrible wise in the dark nights malignity untold, carnage and crushing shame. I can give Hrothgar good counsel about this, with generous mind, how he, the wise and good, shall overcome the fiend. If, said Beowulf, for him there should ever come a change and help from the torment of afflictions and the surges of care grow cooler, or else he should ever hereafter endure a time of tribulation, crushing misery, long as the best of houses lasts there in its lofty place. The watchman, bold retainer, answered sitting there on his horse, The bold shield-warrior who judges well must know the difference between these two words and deeds. I understand that this is a company friendly to the lord of the shieldings. Pass forth, bearing your weapons and armor. I will guide you. Moreover, I will bid my comrades honorably to guard your ship against all enemies, your fresh tarred vessel on the beach, until at last the wooden craft with twisted prow bears the beloved man back to the shores of Yetland over the eddying seas. To one of such noble deeds it will be granted that he shall come safely through the rush of battle. They set out then to journey on. The ship remained still. The spacious vessel rode on the painter, held by its anchor. Above the cheek guards shone the boar images, covered with gold, gleaming and tempered. The fierce-hearted boar he held guard over the warlike men. The warriors hastened. They went together until they could descry the timbered hall, splendid and gold-adorned, which was for men dwelling on this earth the most famous of buildings under heaven. In this the ruler dwelt. Its radiance gleamed o'er many lands. Then did the warrior bold in battle point out to them the radiant dwelling of brave men, that they might go straight thither. The mighty war hero turned his horse, and then he spoke these words. It is time for me to depart. May the Almighty Father keep you safe in your adventures by his grace. I will go to the sea to keep ward against hostile bands.